Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now most people, including doctors, don't realize just how powerful drugs are, including even the over-the-counter ones that used to be prescription only. Now not only are drugs addictive, but as you may already know, they're just loaded with negative side effects. In fact, between 2011 to 2017, the FDA received over 5.5 million reports of adverse problems related to prescription drugs. I can guarantee you that there are many more people that didn't report anything, even though they had negative effects. However, what's disturbing is that these reports also included over 1 million deaths. Listen, that's far more than what illegal street drugs ever cause. Now, today's topic is about five popular drugs known to cause anxiety, nervousness, and panic attacks. And I'm doing this topic because I recently did two separate videos entitled, what type of anxiety do you have and how to fix it? As well as how do you know if you have anxiety? And that comes with a simple quiz. I got a lot of positive feedback, so I wanted to do uh, this video today. And I'll give you links to those two videos in a minute. Now, the problem with anxiety is that when you have it, you also tend to maybe beat yourself up. You know, it can also lead to depression. People tend to blame themselves and think that there's something wrong with them. However, the cause could simply be due to an external source, such as a common prescription drug. Thus, you are not the problem. You know, these drugs may be the real cause of your anxiety. So with that said, let me quickly go over them and see if you're taking any of the following drugs or have recently taken them within the past 12 months. Now, the first one is caffeine, and caffeine is the most used and abused drug on the planet. Listen, it's very powerful, one of the one that most people take for granted, even though they don't even think of it as a drug. But let me put it this way. Coca-Cola, you know, their original formula contained cocaine, hence where the name coca came from. Now, when cocaine became illegal, they needed to find an alternative. So they used caffeine as a substitute. Thus, it's a very effective and powerful drug. Obviously, lots of natural products contain caffeine, such as coffee, energy drinks, colas, tea, and so forth. However, so do a few prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications, especially those used for headaches and migraines. For example, Ascendrin contains aspirin, acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, and caffeine. So just make sure that you read the label the next time you take pain medication, especially for your headaches. The next are cortical steroids. Now, cortical steroids are a class of steroid hormones produced in the adrenal cortex by both men and women. Now, these are not like anabolic steroid hormones that athletes and bodybuilders take to build muscle. These are, in fact, the opposite. They are catabolic. Basically, anabolic means to build and catabolic means tears down. Now, you probably heard about the stress hormone cortisol which is a cortical steroid. Anyway, as bad as these stress hormones are, they are vital for your survival, and one of the benefits they have is they help regulate inflammation. Now, many drugs which treat asthma, allergies, arthritis, bronchitis, and also pain contain or are prescribed a form of cortical steroid. Now, you may have heard of cortisone injections or cortisol as a topical cream, also, prednisone and dexamethasone are all popular cortical steroid hormones in drug form. In addition to causing weight gain, high blood sugar, hypertension, and muscle loss, they also cause irritability and anxiety. Next, we have ADHD drugs, attention deficit disorder. Basically, these ADHD drugs are one of the most often prescribed drugs in America. They are basically stimulants and upper, very similar to just amphetamine. Many times they are amphetamine. Now, they do cause temporary euphoria in many people because of the dopamine interaction. However, they also cause nervousness, rapid heart rate, anxiety, and panic attacks, both during and after the drug wears off. Now, two popular drugs you may have heard of are Adderall and also Ritalin. However, other drugs which contain different forms of similar stimulants all have the same negative effects, which is anxiety-causing side effects. Then we have asthma medications. Now, there are actually two primary forms of asthma medications. One that gets treated with a cortical steroid, which I already discussed earlier, and the other is with a beta agonist stimulant, such as ephedrine, albuterol, and salmeterol. Now, they can cause mood disorders, depression, and anxiety. And this includes both pills 
and the inhaler forms, the bronchiodilators. And finally, we have one of the most popular, which is thyroid medicine. Now, many people's thyroid glands tend to be in, um, underactive and thus hypothyroid. And this can happen simply due to aging, change in hormones, also lack of iodine and or uh, L-tyrosine. Now, this is especially true for people on lower calorie diets, on ketogenic and also low carb diets, and even intermittent fasting diets can cause lower thyroid production. Also, women tend to have lower thyroid production as well and are more susceptible to hypothyroidism. And because of this, your doctor may prescribe some form of thyroid medication. Now, the most popular is T4 thyroid, uh, the brand name being Synthroid. There's also T3 thyroid, such as Cytomel. Finally, there's Armor thyroid, which is a natural blend of both T4 and T3. Now, these drugs increase your metabolism and also your heart rate, which can cause nervousness, shakiness, and anxiety. Now, you don't want to stop taking your thyroid medication because if you're feeling anxiety, you should actually just have a talk with your doctor about adjusting the dosage. But again, do so very slowly with thyroid medication. So in summary, there you have it. Five of the most popular drugs which can cause or increase your anxiety, panic attacks, nervousness, and worry. Now, you may want to actually watch this video again if you aren't taking any of these drugs since I did list a bunch of different names. Please also share this video with anyone you know who takes any of these drugs. Like I said, most people aren't aware that these common and more popular drugs can actually be the cause of their anxiety or at least making things much worse. Unfortunately, you can't just get off of these drugs. You know, there aren't uh, natural alternatives that work as well, especially during times of emergencies such as asthma medications and cortical steroids. However, many of these drugs, I believe, are overly prescribed and also overdosed. So if you are taking these or similar drugs and you are having anxiety or similar feelings, speak to your doctor about changing the medications or at least just ad adjusting the dosage. And remember, these drugs have a lingering effect. Just because you haven't taken them for a few weeks doesn't mean that they're still not in your system, all right? And they're causing the negative effects still. So you just, your body just needs a little bit more time to adjust. So please be patient. However, if you want to help, you know, in a naturally improving uh, your anxiety levels quickly and easily and naturally, I have some important links below this video in the description area including a proven solution that has helped thousands of people for almost 20 years, which can help quickly reduce and even erase feelings of anxiety, panic, and depression. I've also posted two links to the two other videos that I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video. And as always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.